Hey, Herald Times Sports Editor Chris Corman, joined by Dustin O'Pierre, Indiana beat writer. Yep. We are in the actual seats where uh, the Big Ten Network Indeed. Uh, people sit. Exactly. Uh, the people that get paid by Rotel sit right here. Yeah. So we have this thing over here that says that uh, there's like mm. a, a little thing on the, uh, I don't know what you call this, the red, the red ramp pad red ramp so pad that thing. you don't get hurt if you run into it. Yeah. Uh, but it says that Dave Revsign and Jim Jackson are in the studio tonight. So when the Big Ten Network purchases Scoop Talk, yeah, we would be able to, we would kick back to, to Dave Revsign. We'd be like, now to you, Dave. <laughs> but here's my question. Will What's they that? Will they give us... A giant crate of Rotel, or... I think that's part of the package. Well, but, I mean, it could be a truck of Barbasol, too, could right? could be a truck of Barbasol. Or that, uh, the beef jerky, which I, exactly. I have no desire Oberto, for. Oberto, yeah. I mean, I also don't use Barbasol, but I would, like, display it in my home somewhere, perhaps. Build something right. out of it. I don't know. I, don't... I think we should negotiate our contracts just for that. Yeah. And Definitely. I mean, Rotel seems to have some uses. Obviously. Well, if, if you have Velveeta. <laughs> only if you have only if you have Velveeta the only product in America solid mint in 15 Built. seconds talking about nothing by the way <laughs> well there was a basketball game there was a basketball tonight, game but you guys don't want to talk about does that does anyone either, want to hear about that yeah. uh, Indiana tonight uh, another listless performance I think I called it yeah. that last video and I will just go back to the same word right. when it's right yeah with it. Um, I've gotten listless a few times this year yeah Indiana I'm uh, trying to come up with new ones uh, what was the final I uh, 69-52 right I think it's actually yeah. a little bit better than uh, than the, road the last game. time. Than the, yeah, than when Indiana played Ohio State on the road, they played for like uh, five minutes in this game as opposed to zero up there. Right, Indiana. Uh, they they quickly got um, Evan Turner, who will be, you know, top three of the national player of the year voting, and possibly when, top three in the draft next year when it's all said and done. Mm-hmm. Quickly got him in foul trouble. He only played three minutes in the first half. Yeah. Uh, Indiana seemed to be spurred on by that a little mm-hmm. bit. Uh, yeah. Cut it to. 18-17 and then 22-20. Yeah, 22-20 uh, on, a, on a nice play by Jeremiah Rivers. He drives mm-hmm. the lane, and instead of uh, trying, Forcing one. trying to get a basket, he mm-hmm. kicks out to Christian Watford, who's wide open, and, and hits mm-hmm. three. Um, but two Devin Dumas long three-pointers later. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Devin, both, Devin specials. Both There's, missed. Yeah. Uh, and a alley-oop from John Diebler, a long alley-oop, John Diebler to, to Dallas Lauderdale, mm-hmm. uh, which – Alley plays generally not paying attention. That's yeah. all that happens there. You're not yeah. you're not defending the guy. You're not standing in the way uh, mm-hmm. where you need to be. And, and Indiana w- was knocked out by it. That was it. Yeah. Didn't score the rest of the half. Mm-hmm. Ohio State went on a 12-0 run. Yeah, Indiana did get the first bucket of the second half, but was just never back into it. No, never got closer than, than 10 after that after that run. Yeah. No, I mean they just uh, just the air got let out mm-hmm. uh, instantly. I, and um, to hear Crean talk about it, I think. In a, in a lot of ways, today I think was the most. I think if, if you were an Indiana fan and you were watching that press conference, you got to be actually frightened. I think by by some of the stuff you you heard Crean talk about. I mean, to sound it sounds like there was just no heart at all in this locker room. Like they were just you know, but it sounded like like a funeral or you know, like there was just the guys just sounded like devastated, not mad, not upset, not uh, you know, yeah, just just devastated. I mean, he talked about. You know the idea of bringing motivational speakers at that moment uh, to talk to the guys. If you're motivated so by down. Oprah, well, yeah. I mean, I was trying not to bring the list up, but you know, but yeah, he, I, mean, I think Oprah's. It cool. was like Oprah and Dr. Phil were the names Crean mentioned, but one way or another, the point was that they just seemed they, they apparently went in the locker room just devastated, and, right? Um, and that was what a lot of what he talked about was just them not having the grit and the mentality to well, get yeah, through it, that run. It took Tom Crean. I don't know. This was a quick game, quicker than usual because of it, it was, being a blowout, right? It, uh, so we were down. It was down about eight thirty-five. I yeah. don't think Crean got into the media room until about nine twenty. Yeah, nine twenty, uh, nine twenty-five. And he, he immediately said, "You know, sorry guys for for being late, but getting the mentality of my team back to where it needs to be is our focus now. We need mm-hmm. to do that." Um, and kind of went in, went on a long screed about that, about yeah. the, the mental part of the game, and just this team being young and not having anything to, to fall back on, not having mm-hmm. to, the past success to propel it through tough times. Yeah. Uh, I think stuff we've heard before. Once um, or twice. But he, with a little tweak? The, was there yeah, a little it, tweak? I don't know. I think it wasn't so much that it was tweaked. It sounded – there was something about it that sounded different today. I mean, it, I don't, again, I, like I said, if, if you were an Indiana fan, it was more frightening today, I think, because it just it, he just sounded like he was more grasping at straws than usual. 
I guess it was more this this notion of like these these guys sound defeated. They sound beat. Right. You know, they sound like you know he kept talking about going, you know, not having enough in the tank and stuff like that. And I mean, that was I think the 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 weird part to listen to today was it just sounded like he doesn't know how he can fire this team back up again. Right. And and that I think was sort of the part that that if you're an Indiana fan, you're looking, you're saying, whoa, this this is concerning. And we. I, I tried to ask. I said to him, "What mm. what did you do uh, in? What was the extra time? Yeah, what have you been doing the last forty five minutes?" Uh, and he said, "That's between him and his team." And then I think mm. all the players said, all the, the, players same said thing. the same thing. Uh, yeah. He also said he's going to have a long night. I asked him sort of for specifics on what what's your long night going to entail. And he said, "It's just a routine night. We're going to mm. get ready. You know, we're going to scout. We're going to watch film of this game. We're going to." Grade yeah. it out. We're going to scout for Wisconsin. You know, he said that's just a yeah. typical night. He's not going to change his preparation. Mm-hmm. He's not going to flinch. Uh, he's just going to keep going. The only way to instill confidence is, is keep on going. Yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, it's, that's why I'm not a basketball coach, coach yeah. and why I just ask all the annoying questions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but certainly right now it's, it's not there, and it's, it's a strange thing. Why does yeah. Indiana come out and play Illinois and Purdue so well? Mm-hmm. Um, at least with effort wise, I mean, yeah. they, I don't. Both those games, they they shot well, and some things worked, and the other mm-hmm. teams had some problems, and then maybe that's why the score was a little bit closer. But I don't think there was much lack of effort at in any, any of those games. at any no. point in those games. But then you have the Illinois, the Northwestern game, and this game. Yeah, and I don't think any fan, any Indiana fan who's watched for any uh, period of time and knows sort of what the program's about can can yeah. feel that that. This team lived up to that ideal. No, uh, on this I mean night. it's. I mean, it, and it's it's tough to compare these guys to the ideal, but just comparing to them to what they were a week ago right. is, I think, the weird part is that, that you don't see the same amount of fire that you saw, and you know it, that's happened kind of in cycles before. This is kind of the first time where you piled one on top of the other, you know, where they had two games that were pretty bad. Now I mean, he did point out it, uh, availability yesterday, and I, and I think he's kind of right. That Northwestern didn't really compare with Iowa. That there was there was a bad stretch and they were fighting out of a hole and they, you know they weren't they weren't entirely listless against Northwestern. Hmm. But tonight, other than about that five minute stretch where they got back in it uh, in the first half, they they pretty much were. This was not necessarily. I think Iowa and I think the first Ohio State game were probably the worst performances that you dealt with so far. But this one was pretty close. There there just wasn't a lot a lot there and. It is. It does make you wonder why. Why is it this team sometimes can be, you know, when it's really fired up and and gets after it, um, you know, can have a performance like that. So, sorry to cut you off, but so go ahead with the. I mean, uh, this brutal stretch coming up. They go to Wisconsin, mm-hmm. Cole Center. I, I think Bo Ryan's lost six games there. Something ridiculous. Since he's like been that. there, yeah, uh, yeah. Know, almost, almost ten years. Half of them to Illinois, but half of them to Illinois. Mm-hmm. It, it just an incredibly tough place to play, and Wisconsin yeah. plays their system so well. Mm-hmm. Uh, just gets it done, and then and then Michigan State, a Michigan State team that's that's been reeling a little bit, uh, but still might be the most talented. But team yeah, it's point, guard, it's point guard is back. It's dealing, mm-hmm. you know, Lucas is dealing with a with an ankle injury, and it, it clearly affected him against Purdue last night. But mm-hmm. that team's going to get going. You know that every time Izzo team builds to this time of year. Yeah, the same thing absolutely. with Bo Ryan teams. These are teams mm-hmm. that they know what they're doing. Yeah. Uh, it's that cult. The, the culture is established in those programs. There's yeah. clearly no culture in Indiana yet, right. as far as knowing how to play and win and get clearly. through a long season. It's just yeah. not there. Yeah. They don't have the, the experience to build that. But how how do you see this team reacting in these next two games? I have no idea. They might get crushed, to be honest. I mean, they they, they need to whether there they it is. win or not. Watch. Yeah, I know whether they win or not against uh, Wisconsin on Saturday. I mean, they they really got to at least come through with a you know when they show up. I mean, they just. You know whether they can lose by ten or fifteen in that game, but but in order for the season to continue on any decent kind of path, I mean they really have to come out with a fight on Saturday. You know at least make it close, at least make a good showing, at least kind of remind themselves, hey, we we belong in the Big Ten. You know, but they that's that's you know the one thing that they need to do is just have another performance where they at least come out fighting. Yeah. One thing I, I mentioned a little bit in my column, and it's it's a hard uh, line to really examine or really look into, but I think Indiana, when it plays, uh, not to lose, when it feels like, okay, we're going, we're going to the Cole Center, uh, Wisconsin's a good team, it's going to be tough. They kind of, they play with that mentality that, uh, mm-hmm. let's just go out and play. And mm-hmm. I think you saw that every game last year, that team, there were no yeah. expectations. This year's team, talented, talented freshman class comes in thinking, uh, you know, there's a little bit more confidence, a little bit more expectations. And I think they've, They've struggled with that at times, but so I'm interested to see if they really just 
play with abandon against uh, yeah. against Wisconsin and Michigan State. But anyway, we need to throw it back to Dave Revson uh, back in the studio. Yeah. Or, or not. We're just going to go. See ya. <laughs>